a conclusion in the case of the state of Kansas versus Scott Roeder, a conclusion that will likely have the convicted murderer in prison for a very, very long time. In the case of the state of Kansas versus Scott Roeder, case number 09CR1462, we the jury find the defendant, Scott Roeder, guilty of the crime of first degree murder. Scott Roeder murdered George Tiller, a doctor who provided abortion services at his Wichita, Kansas clinic. The next step in the case is sentencing. It's scheduled right now for March 9th. Under Kansas law, a person convicted of first-degree murder must be sentenced to life in prison, but normally the person is eligible for parole in 25 years. Prosecutors in the Tiller case, however, are asking the judge to ensure that Mr. Roeder is not eligible for parole for 50 years, at which point he would be 102 years old. It took the jury just 37 minutes to find Scott Roeder guilty. After the verdict, Dr. Tiller's widow and family released a short statement. I'll read it in full. They said, quote, The family of Dr. George Tiller would like to thank the jury, District Attorney Nola Fulston, and her office in law enforcement for their service in this difficult matter. Once again, a Sedgwick County jury has reached a just verdict. We also want to thank George's countless friends and supporters in Wichita and around the country who've offered their comfort. At this time, we hope that George can be remembered for his legacy of service service to women, the help he provided for those who needed it, and the love and happiness he provided us as a husband, father, and grandfather. In light of the conviction, the Center for Reproductive Rights is calling on the Justice Department to make good on its announcement to investigate whether or not Scott Roeder planned this murder with anyone else.